Hello, welcome to Banana World. If you believe Beyonce has no interest in relaunching her hair care line, consider the lawsuit against Dream, who collaborated with both Beyonce and Rihanna. The lawsuit claims that Baye has always felt some way about Rihanna and vice versa, and Rihanna has just announced the launch of her Fenty hair care line. Meanwhile, while the Navy is enthusiastic about the launch, the Beehive is drawing comparisons between Rihanna's line and Beyonce's, accusing Beyonce of copying her. I am on the verge of revealing some exciting details about our girl. In 2017, she relaunched Fenty Beauty in partnership with LVMH. Her inclusive foundation range, 40 Shades, yes, that's right, 40 Shades of a Face, was a total game changer in the cosmetics industry. Ever the entrepreneur, she continued to expand her beauty business into skincare in 2020 and then debuted her perfume brand, Fenty Fragrances, the following year. Of course, she also owns the lingerie company Savage X Fenty. And now we're talking about a whole new hair care line. Really, with all these ventures going on, when does she find time to sleep? The social media teaser video for this new line is just the beginning. Rihanna, clad in a trench coat and sporting a shaggy blonde pixie cut, poses the question, are you ready? As she walks through a suburban neighborhood, showcasing the diverse hairstyles and textures of the residents. This is in line with the announcement that Fenty Hair will be offering a versatile range of products that cater to a variety of hair types, including tight curls, afros, big blow dries, and slicked back ponytails. Rihanna captioned the announcement, you know how much switching my hair up matches me. I've had almost every texture, color, and length, from weaves and braids to natural. Therefore, I'm introducing a versatile range of products that cater to every hair type, while also enhancing and repairing all hair types. It's time to play with our hairstyles and get stronger with each new look. So far, bye, everyone is loving Vanna's hair care line. Some even joke about how they can't wait to dress like Fenty. On the other hand, some are expressing concern that, since R is actually involved in the production of each product, there won't be any authentic Bayesian influence in the ingredients. This is especially true in the Caribbean, where people traditionally use plants for health and beauty, rather than for food or clay, so fans are hoping that Banna's line will stay true to Bayesian tradition. Yes, it's a brilliant business move on Rihanna's part, but the Beehive have accused her of plagiarizing their Queen Bay. Sure. It's no secret that Beyonce released her textured hair care line, Sacred, in February. It's based on keratin recovery technology. Beyonce's hair care line includes eight different products, including a foundation collection that caters to different hair textures and is based on family rituals. The business seems to be a family affair, and Beyonce is very involved with it. The brand prioritizes inclusivity and product performance. When asked about her hair products, she told Essence magazine, Sacred is a legacy product for me, one that's probably the most rooted in my ancestry. It's so far beyond business. Hair is our heritage. It's our family story, with access to proven ingredients and the development of our own patent-pending technology. We now have a line that caters to a universal audience. From her childhood spent in her mother's salon, interacting with clients, and trying out new hairstyles, Beyoncé recalled many joyful memories associated with her hair. From her father's application of oil, to her scalp, to alleviate psoriasis, Beyoncé's roots in her family's hair care practices seem to form the bedrock of her brand, embodying the principles she strives to promote. Showcase now with Rihanna also announcing her brand, we have some people claiming that Rihanna copied Beyoncé cuz it's been just a few months since Spa's launch. Well, if you have been following Ryu, you know that she has been working on her hair care line for three years, she actually trademarked Fenty. Hair back in March of 2021, and this was even before Beyoncé teased her hair care line. In fact, if we are talking about trademarks, Beyoncé trademarked Sacred in 2022 after Rihanna trademarked Fenty Hair Regards. Less, the Beehive is not happy about how Fenty Hair has been received considering the amount of criticism Beyoncé got when she launched her products for y'all who call when Bay launched her products. We had people questioning how she was releasing a hair care line when she's always in wigs and top. Prove someone even went so far as to claim that Beyoncé is consistently healthy hair, which she attributes to her family tree or her diligent hair care routine, is a money-grabbing and untrustworthy brand. Nothing about Rihanna's hairstyle or her billion-dollar hair care brand is relatable because she never wears it. 
Head of State, another Hive member, echoed their desire to see Beyoncé's cosmetology license. I'll never forget their outrage at the inclusion of white and Asian people in Bay's advertisements. And when she finally showed off her long, natural hair, they accused her of being anti-black. I also noticed that many people were criticizing Bond's hair care line, accusing Rihanna of always wearing a wig. It's hypocritical of you to criticize Rihanna in this way. Even if I don't share their feelings, I can understand why the beehive is so agitated. Rihanna hasn't gotten as much criticism as Beyonce when she launched her hair care line. Maybe Rihanna should also be put under the same pressure to showcase her own hair the way Beyonce was forced to. But you know, as much as the beehive was going hard on, we also had the Navy saying that the beehive is just mad because Rihanna is going to dominate where Beyonce cannot once again. I honestly think people just need to relax cause there is enough money and there are enough people for both queens to profit from their own hair care lines. So maybe people should just stop pitting Rihanna and Beyonce against each other. But speaking of how these two have always been pitted against it. Each other Beyonce's alleged skeletons were laid bare in the bombshell lawsuit against the dream where Kanaz Magro suggested that the dream pitted the two artists against each other and Beyonce enjoyed that. Being the favorite okay, the thing is the dream was sued by songwriter Chanaz Moreau originally from the Netherlands who claimed he allegedly saved her after promising to make her the next Queen Bey she accused Dream of using Beyonce's name to exploit her alleging that if she did what he told her he'd change her life the dream all the dream purportedly cultivated a sanctuary relationship with Beyond characterizing it as even more powerful than a spousal bond and a deep understanding of her inner essence reportedly included information about one of her pregnancies in tension with Rihanna according to what Shannon said Dream allegedly promised to make her the next Beyonce and Rihanna, but she claimed he lured her into his deeply sadistic world while seemingly spilling alleged secrets about Beyonce. After the aspiring artist met him in January 2015, she also said that Dream frequently pitted Rihanna against Beyonce implying that Rihanna was forced to fight for his attention and was frustrated that. He was giving it to Beyonce, instead of to her apparently dream told Chans, that Rihanna was begging him for good records, but because of his special sanctuary relationship with Beyonce, he saved them for Beyonce and he promised Chans that she could be part of that as well Chans said that dream told her that Rihanna was possessive over him and got angry when he worked with Beyonce and in an apparent effort to reiterate how grateful she should be for the opportunity to work with him, dream told her that Rihanna would frequently send him flowers and other gifts allegedly Dream told Chans that she better be grateful that he was working with her because he was putting work on Beyonce's album on hold and that if she wanted to reach the same level of success as Beyonce, she needed to become as close to or closer to him than Beyonce. He said that meant that she should ask for and follow his advice on everything, rely on him to be her main confidant and limit her inner circle to only those people he approved of and trusted now now i won't go into the details of everything shanaz accused to dream of but she made it look like beyonce actually enjoyed being favored over rihanna in fact the entire lawsuit actually raises a bunch of questions about beyonce and jay-z Koo's dream is literally part of their inner circle like diddy was i mean what does this really say about beyonce and jay-z and what sanctuary is this that beyonce had with the dream baby as you think about that let me know what you think Ink about the Bive saying that Rihanna has copied Beyonce's hair care, let's take a closer look at the details provided below.